Medieval era, a time of kings and queens, emperors and empresses, a time of tremendous figures who forever left their mark on people and borders, and of tremendous fools who squandered their fortunes and shattered young nations. Our history has its own winners and losers. Well, what would history look like if fortune favored the rolled? All right, so I'm on Wikipedia now because that's going to be how I do all of my research. Um, because who has time to do more complicated research? Uh, it turns out this is a real dynasty that we're playing right now, the Tomara dynasty. Uh, they ruled parts of Delhi during the 8th and 12th century. So we are in the 8th century, 9th century, something like that. Uh, it's like the one before it, right? 9th century? Yeah, we're in the 9th century. So, they were displaced by the, the Chaminas in the 12th century. So, we're going to try to avoid getting displaced. Uh, let's see, are there any Chaminas around? Is that a culture or a dynasty? That is a dynasty. So, we're going to watch out for them. Oh, the Chauhan, Chow, uh oh, this is their other name. So these guys we need to look out for because historically they eradicated us or they they kicked us out of Delhi. So we're going to pin him and we're keeping an eye on you, Chandra Raja, Chandra Raja the second. And I am Uday Song of the Tomara Raj. So I am 53 years old. I'm in good health. I am paranoid, chaste. Gregarious. I am astute intellectual. I'm a very smart man. Uh, and I am whole of body. Wow, that's actually very good. Uh, so that's going to give us a nice health boost. We're 53 already, which kind of sucks, but our health is good. And if you're wondering why there was a cut there, it's because I burped. I'm, I'm new to this, man. I'm, I'm figuring it out. So, yeah, we also have a son. His name is Jadias Tomara, and... He's one of our Shorevers. That's going to be like an Indian knight, I guess. That's cool. Uh, he is a thrifty clerk. He's trusting, compassionate, and fickle. And he's pretty terrible at everything, except for diplomacy. He's a really nice guy. That's when people meet him, they don't want to say anything bad about him. So they're just like, he's a really, really nice guy. He's, you know, don't put him in charge of anything. Don't tell him any secrets. But he's a super nice guy. So we're going to find him a wife, because he is such a he's such a nice person. Um, well, maybe I should figure out my diplomatic situation first. Yeah. So I'm a vassal, which means we're going to have to form a kingdom and also become independent. We are part of the Prithara kingdom, which is the kingdom of Kosala. And there's lots of kingdoms here in India. Looks like we're going to be going for the Kingdom of Delhi. So let's see what our requirements are to form the Kingdom of Delhi. The Tomara Raj inside of our, That's us. Okay. And this other place. Okay. Is that within... I'm still figuring out this map a little bit. How do I get... Oh, there we go. I zoom out. Okay. So that... that It looks like our whole kingdom is within this other guy's kingdom. Yeah. That's awkward. So we're going to have to conquer some other vassals. Uh, oh. Is that him? Yeah, that's our king right next to us. That kind of sucks. Um, well, we'll just do what we can. We'll just do what we can. Conquer some other vassals. Let's check the crown law and make sure that that's going to be an option. Kingdom of Delhi. I'm probably talking about some weird Crusader Kings 2 thing that isn't even in this game. I, I should have played more Crusader Kings 3 before starting a mega campaign if this was going to be like the game that I'm the expert at. Um, and I haven't played it in like three months, but you know, whatever. I think that this is the most authentic experience because this guy didn't know anything about, about ruling, so... Uh, maybe he did. He is an astute intellectual. Alright. 
he only got one chance to rule, is what I was trying to get at. He, he didn't get to try it beforehand. He hasn't played the game in three months either. So, there we go. Alright, crown authority. We found what we needed. Okay. Except that's not the kingdom. The right kingdom. My liege. There we go. Feudal. Crown authority one. Autonomous vassals. Nice. Okay. So, that means we can declare war on our fellow vassals. Let's see who's looking pathetic. This guy... Neighboring fellow vassal. I love these diplomatic, diplomatic descriptions here. It's just a lot better than Crusader Kings 2. Foreign ruler. See, like, I can see that he's outside of the kingdom. He might be a good person to attack. Um, he's got 671 men. How many men do I have? Oh! Oh, that's not me. That's... Is that me? No, that's the king. I have 693. Okay, that's that makes a lot more sense. Now, this guy... All right, do I have any claims or anything? Maybe it's a time for me to, oh, I do, I do have a claim. Okay, on the Thakana of Tribonda, Tribondapura. I am genuinely trying my best. Um, all right, Tribondapura, oh God, that was the worst, that was not good. Okay, he's a Vishnite. That's cool, Vishnu's cool, which, who's mine? I have the Great Goddess. Okay. I don't know as much about this type of Hinduism. Um, I don't really know much about many forms of medieval Hinduism, but I kind of know that Vishnu is a person. He's cool. And then... Yeah, okay. So we're, we're, we're these people. We're the Circula Shaktism. I'm going to look that up later, and we're, we're going to get some information on that, maybe. Um, and these guys are a different religion, so we should obviously conquer them. They're a different culture, too. We are Rajput. Okay, so would Raja Udasanya want to conquer his friends, though? He, he likes spending time with other people. He does have a claim, so it is his rightful territory, um, according to the law. Does this guy have two arms? Yeah, he does. Okay. Characters can lose their arms in Crusader Kings 3, so it never hurts to make sure that they have both their arms. So he's really good at learning. He probably started with some uh, traits already. Yeah, because he has whole of body, so he's going to live forever and ever. I'm sure nothing bad will ever happen to him. And I can't take any of these yet because I do not have any experience, but I can pick a lifestyle. So I'm going to pick, I'm probably going to pick medicine because I think I want to live longer. He's much better than my terrible son. And I believe you can disinherit in Crusader Kings 3, maybe. So maybe I can just get rid of my terrible son. Let's see. I can. I can disinherit him. That's really nice. So he's really bad at everything. Um, and he's also 37, which is just, like, so old. He's nice, though. So I, I really don't know. I don't know if I'm role-playing, if Uday Song... That reminds me too much of Uday Hussein. But Uday Song, I don't know if he would actually do that to his son... They seem like they like each other. So maybe I'll just keep keep him around. I don't know. But let's get married. I need some alliances for this war. I'm going to start a war against these guys. Because I have a claim on their land. Fuck them. I shouldn't swear on YouTube. They're, they're not going to put me on the algorithm if I do that. I'm going to have to bleep that. All right, the game is telling me that I just need to get married. I want to poke around and look at the map and figure out everything, but it's just telling me to get married. Isn't that life? Parents just want you to get married. All right. 
So my heir, I'm gonna marry him first because um, he's younger. He has more to live for. This guy, the Kazar, oh, car, my cat just jumped on my lap and cut me a little bit, so that's fun. Oh, there she is. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but there she is, saying hello. So he's Buddhist, that's cool. He's an adventurer? No, you're a ruler. Where's your land? See, India is also just very confusing, I feel like. This map is just so overwhelming to me. I feel like, I'll, look at, these. this is just, there's all this Mediterranean. It kind of cuts up all the crazy land. India is just like, boom, welcome to the subcontinent, baby. There's land everywhere. And it's, there's all these mountains and everything. I mean, it's a, it's a beast. But let's see what we can do here. So this guy. He's up here. Does he want to be our friend? He does want to be our friend. I promise my cat is okay. She's just really, really annoying. I love her, though. I do love her. Okay. Can also get an alliance with these people. You're a Raja. We are the Rajas of India. That was the name of the CK2 expansion that added India. I remember the pre-India days of CK2 when the game ran still pretty bad, honestly. Everyone says India ruined things, but CK2 was it was a rough game, man. It, it was rough. This game is much more polished. It doesn't have as much depth as CK2, uh, which, you know, people are right to point that out. But oh my gosh, this game is going to be so much better one day because it's just built on such a better base. Um, I can't wait until it gets more things. Like, Rise of the Shia? Come on. Why can't I have Shia? I'm going to have to make my own Shia. i make my own Mamluks. Yeah, so we'll see how that works out. Because I'm in India, I need to focus on India. Stop trying to get out of India. Alright, this guy, he's actually pretty strong. He's got... No, he's not. He's got 377 men. My son is useless. Two hundred seventy-three, one eighty-six. I know I'm gonna be a great paradox YouTuber because I'm I'm pretty sure I've been recording for like probably at least fifteen or twenty minutes already, and I haven't unpaused the game. And that's the true sign of a good paradox YouTuber is they just yap before they unpause the game. Three seventy-seven. I mean, marrying your kids is pretty important in the beginning of the game. Just being married in general. 136. I'm just... 656. This this chick is the best. Let's take the marriage. What, what are your traits? Lazy, forgiving, and deceitful. Fine, whatever. I could, I could marry her myself. I think my son will like her, though. Or she'll like him. He's nice. He's so nice. Alright. Now it's my turn. And, I, you know, I shouldn't marry a woman younger than my son. That's weird. But I'm, I might, you know. It's 7... No, it's 867, so... When in Rome. Okay, the Sohata Raj. You guys were kind of like my number two choice, so I'm probably going to go ahead and go for you for my ruler. She's 20. She looks eh, not great. Um, I, just, I don't even feel like she looks... What is she? She's Jane and Hindustani. Is that what Indian people look like? I don't know. I just don't know. I just feel like this whole region needs a DLC. I feel like it's been not loved the way the rest of the game map has been loved. I feel like Africa is way better than it was in CK2. Africa never got any love in CK2, never got a DLC. They really, really did a lot. I mean, look at all these beautiful provinces and everything. I'm sure if I played over here, the sheer amount of land would stress me out the way it does in India. But I don't know. I just feel like the, the content over here is cool. They got that mother of us all achievement. 
India does still have the subcontinent unification, which is really awesome. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Let's let's get some DLC over here, Paradox. The Vikings are good now. They have plenty of features. The Catholics are fine. You built the game around them. The, you know, this part of the world, the Muslim part of the world, could use a good DLC. Sort of a sort of Islam for the new era. That was the CK2 DLC. But anyway, let's get married. Now that I've given all my opinions on Paradox games. Well, look at that. I have uh, no situations that are unread. I have no more opinions left to give. And I have no more children to marry. So I think it might be time to unpause the game. I can declare wars. Ooh, no, I can't, though. Why not? I am not holy enough. Ooh. I, oh, Hindus can declare holy wars. Okay, I take back everything I said about India. I'm gonna expand like a boss here. Okay. I have a claim on you, so I'm, I'm definitely just gonna take you out first. Because there's no reason not to. You have an inferior army. It's my land. Boom. Look at that. Haven't even unpaused the game. We're going to war because fortune favors the bold. Uh, I do have a son, Jaidas Tomara. He is 37. Thrifty clerk, which isn't super great, but he's terrible in intrigue. Poor steward. He's really bad at everything, except for diplomacy. I'm going to have to recut that because I burped. <laughs> 